guys, so today we're going to show you how to take an old monkey football table apart and make it new and shiny. Let's, Let's go. go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, that's not working very well, is it? Yeah, we've got we've got problems here. So so it's it's obviously covered in dirt. It's covered in cobwebs. It's been sitting in the corner of the garage for about ten years. Uh, it used to be a really good table. Um, you've never played in it, have you? No. No. I'm only seven years old. Now Jake is big enough to play. So thought we'd uh, get the table back working, but it's going to take a bit of work. So come with us. Join us on our journey. Join us on our journey. So we uh, get ourselves a toy back. Yeah. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take it apart. What I'm doing now is I'm, I'm doing these screws so that we can take these men off. Jacob's just going to take all these guys off, we'll do every single one of them, take all the handles off, we'll undo every screw we can, take all these bars out and then see what we got. We've got all these screws out, these little guys, these are all loose Whee! now. So now we just need to take the handles off. So we can slide these bars out the side. Why does this light go on? So you got a light. So you can see what you're working on. We've got all the people stripped out. We've got it down on the floor. Now we're going to turn it on its side and we're going to take all the sides off, take everything else apart. Okay, so we've just got it turned over. Now we can see underneath. So we've got these little tubes. These little tubes. This is where the ball goes. That's where that ball got stuck earlier. So we need to check that out and see what's oh, going yeah, on. Oh, yeah, I think it might have yeah okay well we'll check that out jacob we'll, we'll make sure that doesn't happen again because we can't have that happen in mid game can we right. because time is precious so we've got these things these seem to collect the ball under the goal and then just a simple tube brings it around here and then the ball comes out from this tube Now, Jacob. Um. Well, I'm taking these little screws off. Hmm. This flat thing in there is. What are we doing, Jacob? Working out how flat the workbench is. Okay. And I think it might be like a millimetre off from being flat. Okay, cool. Shall we um, get back to the table? Yeah. So Jacob's just noticed something. The camera went flat. Not this camera. We had another camera up here which was looking down on the uh, on the football table. Unfortunately, it's gone flat. So we might not have any time lapse of the whole part. I just suggested that we took it apart, uh, put it all back together and took it apart again, but Jacob's not keen on the idea. So, I sort of forgot um, how it went back together. You've forgotten how it goes back together? How are we going to put it back together? Uh, I was suggesting that you Good night. I thought that was, that was your job. Your job was to, to do this one. It was to remember how. Well, I, we'll, we'll figure it out. You never fun. told me! Right, I'm just having a good look. Just having a good look at this pitch. And even though it looks pretty good condition, when you get to the side, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 
bowed, very bowed, so the pitch is not flat. I'm going to have to sit a bit better here. Now, with the ball, it's going to be really important that this pitch is completely flat across the middle. This is also the same the other way. I don't know how easy that is to see. So, we're going to need to do something about that. We can, um, like, take a picture of that and then, like, have your phone on the table and, like, get a green people, um, piece of something and then copy the lines? Yeah, we paint our own pitch. I mean, that's, that's what people really want to know. Is that are we going to keep going with it, even though we found that the pitch is nearly ruined? But we will definitely get this table back together and usable. Yes, we will! I don't know why I did that. So, Jacob separated everything out. We, uh, we realised that we've, we've got our players here now, and we're, we're thinking that the, uh, the transfer market's open, so we could actually transfer some of these players to different clubs. Now, we're not sure who's you know, got players for sale at the moment, what kind of deals are available, so, so we might check that out as well. Um, what? You know, no? Okay, so a few minutes ago I gave Jacob the task of sorting out all the plastic parts that could get wet while I went and got the soap. So, how'd you get on? Um, I think I might have got all of them. Pretty good, this is definitely all plastic. Let's get cleaning. Hi guys, welcome to day two. What did we do yesterday? Well, we took everything apart and then cleaned most of the stuff, but we still have some stuff to do. Yeah, we've still got um, all the player rods, we're calling them, to clean up. They're a little bit rusty, so we've got to see what needs doing on there. Yet yeah, last night I spent a bit of time uh, with a heat gun trying to, trying to pull some of this creased up kind of uh, coating on here back so we've got to glue this back down again I think that will go go back down quite nice and um, also got to do similar repair on the pitch what we also did before we went in last night is we we took the pitch and we sandwiched it between a couple of pieces of MDF and put a couple of boxes of tiles that we had on top of it for weight theory being that we should have uh, flattened this pitch back out again so we've got to repair some of these parts on the corners pull this back out, I think we'll get those straight with the heat gun and then hopefully the pitch will be usable again. Let's have a look. Ah! Yeah, pitch repair didn't work so um, we're going to have to do something else. Alright, these bolts, put them in vinegar last night, put them in some white wine vinegar and it's taken all the rust off. We will stick a little bit of satin paint on them just to stop them corroding and put them back in and we'll see how they look. If we don't crack the paint as we put them back in, maybe they'll get left with some paint on them. Uh, we're also going to do the washers. This is just because they're all back to a, a bare metal. We took off the chemi blacking off them with the vinegar. Um, so they need something on them to protect them. Otherwise they will rust, won't they? Yep. So that's what we're going to do next. Now the pitch is bowed, it's not flat, we need to make it flat otherwise the ball is going to roll off to the sides all the time which would be really annoying. Uh, also the feet of the players actually touch the playing surface which we can't have. Um, and also on all of these corners we've got the playing surfaces wrinkled up. Now we're we'll trying to use the same technique for the heat gun I used on the other piece before which worked really well. So I'm going to try and uh, smooth it all out and then we'll stick anything back down that we need to. Okay?
mark up the back of this surface yeah. because we couldn't get this to stay flat uh, with the weight on it overnight what we're going to do, we're going to do what we call kerfing cuts which are going to be all, all the way through just a couple of mil into this, so this is 9 mil thick MDF um, we're going to go maybe 3 or 4 mil deep on all these black lines here the idea being it will allow the wood to form the shape I want it to form and I'm going to bond some stringers on the back that are going to pull it to the shape I want Okay, so I spent a little bit of time putting some curving cuts in the back of the pitch and then I made this frame up. This frame is just simply a bit of chipboard that I had laying around. So I didn't want to spend too much money on anything. It doesn't need to do much of a job. It just needs to hold the pitch from bowing. So I've marked where it's all going to go. I've abraded the surface so the glue will stick and I can rely on trusty wood glue. I can't put any screws through the pitch without it looking a little bit horrible. So we're gonna run some beads of glue along all the, all the joins, put a bit of weight on it, pin it down, come back in the morning, see what it's like. Okay, it's so the next morning. Last thing we did last night was we glued the frame to the back of the pitch. Now we're really hoping that this will mean that the pitch is now nice and flat on the other side because this frame is pulling it back. And we put a couple of stacks of tar, it was about seven on the frame last night. That's right, um, good, good bit of weight to try and push the frame down while the glue went off. Yeah, see if it flat. Oh, she's flat. It's done exactly what we wanted it to do. Pulled it nice and flat. Okay, so here's the test. Pop the ball in the center. Doesn't roll. Okay, the other thing we did last night before we went in is we glued with a little bit of, uh, just a bit of Elmer's glue, glued the covering that was peeling away from this piece. Um, I put a bit of PTFE tape on the, piece of, on the back of a piece of aluminium clamped it to it, so it should be nice and flat. Let's see what it looks like. And then we can just rub off the excess at the top. Look at that, nice and flat. Good job. So guys, as you can see, Daddy's, um, he's drilling holes. I'm having to shout, because he's drilling really loudly. So, pigeon straight? Yeah. Everything's clean? Bits are painted? Everything's repaired? Ready to reassemble. Let's do this! Oh, let's do this. The golds are in! Right, we're nearly done with this side of the table. We've got the golds back in. Everything's gone back together nicely with the new screws. Uh, Jacob, what have you got there? These wedges, and these wedges go in each of the corners. 
so it lifts the corner of the pitch up so when the ball goes to the corners it doesn't get stuck there it rolls back down that's as far as i can push it okay that's one in let's do the other three corners So now we're all done with the underside. Now it's time to flip it over, put all the player rods back in, put all the players back in, and then put the legs on. So clean. So nice. Okay, now we've turned it over. We can see what we've got. Pitch looks great, really flat. Corners are nice and sharp. There's no gaps anywhere. Everything looks really nice. Now, it's time. For the players. For the players. Lined up one side, and to do the other. Hands up. There you go, thanks for watching. We're really happy with the results. We've taken an old football table that was ready for the bin and now it really is like new. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you can see our newest videos. Also leave us a comment down below to tell us what you liked or disliked. Don't forget to check out our other videos on our channel. We've got all sorts of videos from serious builds to just us two having fun. And we will have regular content for you so it's really worth hitting that subscribe button. See you next time guys! Bye!